Hello again. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I learned from today's session. It's February 12th, uh, the Intensive Workshop of New York, uh, Spinning Hands Workshop. Uh, it is about 1.21 p.m. and we just finished the morning session. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, but first, I wanted to let you know that there uh, were a variety of individuals. There are a variety of individuals here. One person from Poland, two people from Latvia, uh, two people from Ukraine, two people from Russia, other Russian uh, immigrants, individuals living here in the U.S., a bunch of people from New York, um, a lot from California also, um, two from the Netherlands, and I thought that's fascinating, and other people from, from PA and, and around the place, but uh, it is just wonderful to have the variety of and, and the different experiences and cultures together like this, um, trying to learn from each other and teach themselves along with um, with the partners that they you know exchange with um, I think it's magical we only did solo training um, this morning but that's going to change I'm certain uh, soon in the future um, so the first exercise that they did was I, I don't know the name of it but they were hitting the Datian they're swinging you around on their axis and you, you know using their arms and, and hitting it with sort of the soft little part just tapping on there um, that tin area, and I believe that uh, Sam Chen, Sugong, uh, as he's also called, wanted to have individuals feel what it feels like to uh, to put their hand on their uh, their that tin section. And I thought that was wonderful. Um, I did not get it, <laughs> unfortunately, um, exactly how it feels, but the constriction. Um, I felt a little bit of that construction when I thought that was wonderful. Um, and I'll just show you. So they're filling on like this, about three spots below the navel, <clears throat> close to this pelvic bone here, and feeling the contraction and condensing of this area, and 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 turning it. I don't know if that was a very good representation or not, but uh, that was similar to what we were doing, and. Uh, the next thing that he had us uh, learn is getting the connection between our fingers and our and, and our palms and feeling the condense all the way to our stomach. But the originating place is the datian. So the dat and pardon me, I said stomach earlier, but datian that's the key area that we were focusing after you know hitting the datian. Uh, we were raising our hands. And we were condensing, not from not from the hands, but from the Datian area, bringing it and feeling it all the way to the Datian. And we were doing the same thing for the backs of our legs, you know, bringing it up all the way to the Datian, feeling that condense and the wrapping of the feet. Okay, so it was coming. So from the Datian, we were condensing. It come. It came all the way from here, and you would feel that your fingers coming in and establishing that feel. And there are some things that can break that feeling. Uh, and I learned that I was doing it wrong in the beginning. I, I was having it closed in and, and then trying to bring it in. But actually, you're supposed to have this area open and here open. So this can't be open this close. Open, open. In order to in order to fully get the line of connection to the Datian and maintain that. And that's the whole point. Do you have that feeling? You can't just be imitating. You have to have the feeling within your body. And once you establish that connection, don't lose that connection. So that was the uh, second exercise, you know, noticing when that connection breaks. So what we would do is we would bring, he would show us, Sikong would show us the hands going back until you can't really feel the connection anymore. Once they pass a certain line, you can't feel it. So what you have to do is move the the hands from here to maybe the the east west position and still maintaining that connection with the datian and when you're drawing it further going to south you still maintain that connection and maybe coming up um, frontally you still have that strong connection and noticing when it breaks um, is also really important so that you'll know when you're doing it wrong uh, so that was the second thing that we were doing. We were bringing our hands around after just simply doing this exercise, just condensing with our legs and body. We would 
bring it to the side and then try to bring it up okay. and and still maintain that feeling the next thing was no movement and condensing and expanding so he would just have a stand and we would expand, 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 and feeling the muscles and the and the and the yang muscles and tissues go forward. At the same time, feeling the condense, the condense, the condense, the condense, and then feeling the expand, 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 and noticing the difference between those two tissues. Um, and actually, by doing this, I felt an interesting workout or stretch that was happening in my hands and fingers and, and, and it was actually taking place. The originating spot, again, for the condense is the Dachian area and for the, uh, for the expand in the men. So noticing those two things and noticing the sink down and noticing a right and proper sink down. I'm probably gonna do it wrong, but you're going, going downward. Okay, while well, keeping your perineum face downward and not, not fishtailing it keeping this down. So I thought that was interesting and, and you know Alex and, and, and Daria would come around and, and make sure that people had their, their uh, had their form right, had their, their what they were doing, their structure and their energies were correct. Um, and I thought that was very nice of them. And and so after that uh, that small movement, not much but just small and, and even in place at the, at the beginning, and then he had us to add some movement to it. He then had us do some wrapping. So he, we would wrap with it, wrap. So there would be like a circular, small wrapping, circular energy coming in while you're doing the absorption. See how it curves in a little bit. So maintaining all that connection with the Datian and Ming Men so that everything is coordinated, not only with your hands, but also with your feet. So the point is for ha to have everything going, the complementary energies, for example, if you're just focusing on uh, condensing, your expansion is also happening. And, uh, and everything else should be going at the same time. So that was really the morning. It was a wonderful experience and I had a great time.